Now the number one upvoted question on our last interview was, so you don't sell any right-handed guitars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Jerry's lefty guitars. Uh, how many right-handed guitars are uh, on the wall here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I used to keep one in here just for the, uh, yeah, there's the righty over there in the corner. <laughs> I still have one actually in the closet. And rust all the strings, just leave it outside for a couple of days. That'll be the, the perfect way. So yeah. I still I still have one right-handed guitar in here, uh, but I don't have it on the wall or anything like that. But yeah, there's plenty of places to buy righty, so I certainly don't need to, to carry one. Yeah. Every guitar, every right-handed guitar that'd be on the wall, be a left-handed guitar that couldn't be on the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's so, that's a good attitude that's to have. Yeah. That's great. Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name's Shane, and I'm here with Jerry from Jerry's Lefty Guitars. He owns this beautiful left-handed guitar shop in Sarasota, Florida. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you were able to, to make the trip. I know you had a lot of difficulties trying to travel the last few years. Yeah, we kind of arranged all of this like two years ago or so, and yeah. then it all fell through. So it's great to be back. How did you get into the whole business? I know we touched on this last time. For those who haven't seen the old interview, maybe just give us a recap on what made you decide to get into lefties and also how, how hard was the process getting everything started? Um, I, you know, I cut this finger off when I was 20, uh, a week before my 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. I've been playing guitar right-handed and I gave up because I couldn't fret, you know, didn't have enough fingers anymore for that, yeah, even up. though there certainly have been people that have done well with minus a <laughs> finger, uh, but I wasn't one of them, so I didn't play for a long time. And then finally, I decided to let. Why don't I play left-handed? Mm -hmm. Played the same acoustic guitar for like 20 years because I never saw a left-hand guitar, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know. So one day I saw a, um, a lefty electric guitar at a guitar shop, and I bought it, and became kind of obsessed with hey, I want to try that left-handed and that left-handed and uh, just ran into the roadblock of none of that was available. Mm -hmm. And so I think I, I've told the story before. I ordered 12, 12 string <laughs> left-hand guitars because yeah. that's the only way I could get them was to order 12. And I put 11 of them away for a couple of years. And one day I thought, well, I need to sell these and mm -hmm. set up a little website. And it just it just became this wave that sort of, took over yeah. and uh, yeah, it was all sort of accidental in every sense of the word. Where do you see the business going from here? I know you've got tentative plans to, to yeah. take it up north slightly. Yeah, we, um, I, I've bought 50 acres in Tennessee mm -hmm. and I'm in the process of, I'm going to move me and the shop um, to this property. There's nothing on it, it's all wooded yeah. um, and it's, a big undertaking. It's going to be yeah, the hardest okay. thing I ever did. I, uh, a lot of people knew I used to be a building contractor, so that doesn't bother me or scare me. I'm going to build everything myself, and mm -hmm. but it's going to be a hard process of building everything I need to build and keep the business going at the same time. Yeah, yeah it's a lot I've of got, multitasking for one guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I and I'm planning on you know one other, two other people, uh, and and when I get the shop done. I will have another person in the shop. I've always, I've done everything here by myself mm -hmm. for all these years and um, I'm getting older. Yeah, he still <laughs> looks the same from last time, it's, it's amazing. It's time to, uh, <laughs> it's time to uh, bring on some younger people and I, I want the shop to succeed once I'm gone. So yeah. I have to look at that and go, mm -hmm. let's pass this on and, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, who knows what the whole guitar market's going to become and all that kind of stuff and how everything's going to work. But I think a, a shop that specializes like this, I think it'll always be a reason for being. Yeah. I'm <laughs> actually appreciating the shop even more than last time. It's weird. As I've gotten older myself, I, I love finding brands, guitars, anything that's not the standard brands you'd find everywhere else. Yeah. And it's, it's such a great niche. Like, I, I never used to play Vola. I didn't know about them until I got my hands on them. I'm like, oh, these are great. Oh, Duesenberg. You know, all these other brands that I just never had the opportunity to play as a lefty. And coming here again, it's funny. You, as a lefty, you, my brain still can't process, like, looking at the walls. I'm still scanning to see which ones I can play. It's, it's like, ingrained in my, in my psyche. But you were saying something funny the other day where 
when you see the righties it messes with you. Oh no, or maybe one was sent here or something by accident, but when you saw a right-handed guitar, yeah. like, it sort of freaked you out. You're like, oh, wow, this looks... <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it seems... I've, I've lived in this shop for 15 years now, and yeah. so when I see a right-hand guitar, it's like something's wrong with that guitar. Yeah. And most lefties, all we ever have an opportunity to see is right-hand guitar. So yeah. when you see lefties, it seems kind of odd, even though we play left-handed. The oldest guitar in the shop would be one of these three. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Gibson 330. It's a 1963, and nice. there's only, they only made five left-handed ES-330s prior to 1965. So that's one of five before 65. Hmm. I know where one other one is. I, I don't know where the other three are, if they even exist anymore. Yeah. But that's been my guitar for a long time. That's yeah. that's a cool guitar. I've actually I played that last time I was here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was great. It was super cool. And I just got that 68 in, the 68 335. I haven't even photographed it yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, not not a whole lot of vintage stuff is that passes through my hands. Um, I had that uh, 1934 Martin Triplo, double Triplo. Triple O, not too long. That was kind of cool. Yeah, nice. There's a couple in here that I really love the look of, and one of which I've I've got a review of on the channel, or it's coming up. I'm not sure when this video will be slotted in, but it's that Monteleone guitar over there that yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, that is uh, certainly an exceptional guitar, and yeah. John is the foremost archtop builder in the world. Um, and John is not a young man. I think he's 77 oh, or 78 wow. yeah. years old now. He's back ordered five years. Hmm. Um, his arch tops start at, I think, $85,000 and Jeez. go up to $250,000. And uh, that is the only solid body guitar he's ever made. And wow. he made it left handed. So. And it's here. Yeah. So check and it's it out. here. <laughs> Jerry's shop is basically mostly premium guitars, but you also have some more affordable ones here as well. Um, out of all the stuff you've seen improve over the years when it comes to more affordable guitars, is there one in particular you think this has gotten great? Yeah, I, I, no question. Uh, I, Eastman would be the answer. Um, yeah. You know, they're pretty well thought of now, and mm -hmm. I've been a dealer for them for 15 years, and the quality. Uh, improvement over 15 years has just been amazing and I don't hesitate to tell people now that the T486s and the SB series, yep. SB 56s and 59s, they are at least as well built as Gibson's and I usually, they're actually better built. Yep. They're, uh, the quality control is better. Mm -hmm. um, they're a better made guitar. And I hate to say that because I would like for the Americans to, do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to be the best. But, um, and, and especially at the price points, it, it, they can't be touched. Yeah, yeah, they're fantastic guitars. I've owned a lot of 335 style guitars. I've also owned some Les Pauls. And I, I was shocked how great the gold top SB59 sounds and that sort of faded cherry one at the top. Yeah, the three three five style one. It is so good, like good pickups. It, you know, this is the thing. I think with some less expensive guitars, you think, oh, the first thing I've got to do is rip out the pickups, right? But you you don't anymore. It's a yeah. They've definitely definitely uh, done really well with producing something at that price. It easily holds its own with the main Japan stuff I've played for years as well. Yeah, it, yeah it's the, super cool stuff. Yeah, the Chinese stuff. It used mm. to be that the Japanese stuff was so much better than the Chinese yeah. stuff or the Korean stuff. That's not true any longer. They're all equally yeah. good guitars. Anything made in Asia now can be just as good as anything that's made in the U.S. Uh, it was like the PRSSEs you had a while back too. They, yeah, they were. You know, I own one of those, and they're like really good. Yeah, and those yeah. are made in Indonesia, I believe. Yeah, they are now. Uh, I think they were Korean made. They were for, Korean. For, for, yeah, for the Korean yours time. was yeah, Korean yeah. made. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got the the original one. <laughs> Now, the number one upvoted question on our last interview was, so you don't sell any right-handed guitars? <laughs> I'm like, Jerry's lefty guitars. How many right-handed guitars are uh, on the wall here? 
<laughs> yeah, I, I used to keep one in here just for the, uh, yeah, there's the righty over there in the corner. <laughs> I still have one actually in the closet. And rust all the strings. Just leave it outside for a couple of days. That'll be the, the perfect way. So yeah. I, still, I still have one right-handed guitar in here, uh, but I don't have it on the wall or anything like that. But yeah, there's plenty of places to buy righty, so I certainly don't need to, to carry one. Yeah. Every guitar, every right-handed guitar that'd be on the wall, be a left-handed guitar that couldn't be on the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's so, that's a good attitude to have. That's great. Well, I appreciate you letting us come in and shoot all these videos. Oh and the man, interview it was and wonderful it's a, it's to see you again, see and yeah. uh, I hope it's not so long between uh, the next and maybe the next time it'll be in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, well, and, that would be super uh, cool. Yeah, in my new shop and. I'll have more dogs. I don't know. I guess Moon's not in the picture down here, but she's laying here in my. <laughs> she made a few of the videos time. last time as well, and yeah. I'll feature her in a couple of this time. And, and when I get to Tennessee, I'll have more dogs too. So it'll be, uh, <laughs> it's a wildlife preserve out here as well. It's it's really really quite great. So uh, yeah, thanks again for everything. I appreciate it. Yep. And we're going to do a guitar walkthrough video of the shop Guitar Search Saturday here. We've got. 20 odd reviews and mixed content coming up from the shop so stay tuned for that if you want to check out jerry's website it's jerryslefty.guitars.com so you can Thank follow you. his moves no matter where he moves to there you go <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right thanks again cheers